let's dive right into it then, guys, with Metal Gear, the OG. Now, you might be wondering why I'm doing Metal Gear. Well, really, I just wanted to... Because uh, I wanted to do the Metal Gear games for, for ages when we let's play, and I figure, you know, coming back to it, why not? Might as well start on Metal Gear, the original. It's a big boss. Operation Intrude N313. I, that's... Could you be any more of a mouthful for your operation name? Could you come up with something simpler? You can tell it's getting Japanese from having such a long thing. Infiltrate the mid space, out of heaven, destroy the ultimate weapon, Metal Gear. I know it's not a giant gear made of metal, before you ask. Let's go over the details first. Make contact with Grey Fox. I still hate that America spell it with an A instead of an E. I mean, why do you have to be so different, America? And find the location of the ultimate weapon, Metal Gear. Let's use frequency 120.85 for all communication from now on. It's funny how it says over, because characters don't normally say over in Metal Gear conversations like that on the radio. That's an optional call. I'm not going to listen. I'm going to be honest, actually, this is actually my second attempt at recording this, because uh, the first time I just... I kept losing track of what I was saying. I guess it had been that long since I'd been doing Let's Plays, and I've always been pretty bad for that. But I was like, I don't know what I'm talking about, like, at all. See, if you've seen the, um, the Anchor Video Game Nerds review of the NES version of this game, yeah, it, it has the issue of uh, pressing the button on the D-pad takes away the uh, inventory in that. It's like, yeah, it picks up an item, but I press the button, don't know what it is. Where the hell is my inventory? Oh, there we go. I have rations, a card, binoculars, and SIGs. I think the binoculars... Yeah, it just lets you have a look around to the next... Oh, dogs. I don't know if the key will get me through that door. I right, know how to put these away. Um, how do I get... Oh, the game's not very good at explaining the controls. Ah. I don't know if the dogs could have got me there, but yeah. The thing is, I, you know, I, I love Metal Gear. I've been a, a massive Metal Gear fan for years, but I don't actually... I've never actually finished Metal Gear 1. Uh, I remember I gave it a go years ago on the original release of uh, Subsistence. But I just... Yeah, the enemies only seen in straight lines, but I really... I, I just couldn't get into it. I, I just didn't like it. Now I've got hang on. Now, to the inventory. Oh, we weapons and inventory are separate. No ammo. I love how big the trucks are, though. I don't think this... Oh, shit. What the fuck? So much for a, a no alerts run, then. But, yeah, I think... Uh, I don't think this, this this version of the game has the infamous... Has, has the whole thing where the truck can move. Oh, shit. I know, I know it doesn't have the... Oh, no, the truck have started to move. Because this is a high quality uh, translation. Later, bitches. Oh, shit. What the hell? I thought... I, th I thought you the enemies were supposed to lay off as soon as you leave the, leave the area. What the hell? Is it fair? No! No! Uh... I don't like these controls at all. Ah. So I can't use, use them both, I have to have one. Oh shit! Oh! Oh! Haha! I have found the loop with which to do this. Honestly, I have no idea how to get away from these guards. I, I, can, I, think I can't fight them off. I think, I, I think I'm think i going to have to just die. Because I don't think I can do this. Wait, oh, what the fuck? Okay. Damn it. Oh. So, it's, so you have to use one to equip them. Okay. Uh. 
<laughs> so I think you have to kill everyone on the screen. Uh, yeah, so I've never actually pl played through the uh, the original Metal Gear. I, I, pl I played through, through each of the others uh, multiple times, but never the original. <sighs> Bloody hell. What do you want, big boss? This is big boss. So basically, all he's doing is saying, "Oh, yeah, you have to, you have to use stealth because it's a stealth game." It's like, "Yeah, cheers, mate." I never would have figured that out. I mean, I know it was at a time when stealth wasn't really a genre when this game came out. It was like what eighty-seven, I think. You know. So obviously, this is the oldest game I've ever done Let's Play of. Oh, it's a fence. I thought it was a bridge going above or something. But no, it's a fence. So I need to find a way around. I mean, it has to be up here, right? It's amazing how dumb these guards are. So I think I have to get through that door. Maybe. Is it, wait, is this a door here? Oh shit, guard's coming out. No. They, these doors don't even tell you what level you need. Stupid. But I might as well talk about something interesting while I'm trying to figure this whole thing out. Basically, the idea for this game, this game was that... Um, the series creator, uh, Hideo Kojima, wanted to make... A game that was different. He wants to have a game about avoiding enemies instead of just killing everyone. And so he basically created the stealth genre. That's basically it. <laughs> and uh, actually, the uh... oh, damn it! Even in the original games, the, the, these guys don't shut up. Watch out for surveillance cameras. Were oh, that, that's what they are. Uh, oh shit! Shit! I had no idea. Help me. Help me, big boss. Uh, I got my rations. Yeah, basically, uh, f fuck all of you. Die. Uh, yeah. So this game was originally made for the M the MSX2 in Japan. For the, for the American release, they put it on the NES instead. And basically, that one was a complete shit show. I mean, they don't even have the, have Metal Gear itself in that game. You just blow a big computer at the end. And that got its own sequel, Snake's Revenge. I'm not sure how the protagonist can get revenge on the villain exactly, but... Yeah. And then, after that game, there was... Um, the, but because but apparently one of the staff members on on um who was working on Snake's Revenge, uh met Kojima on a on a the train home one night, and uh, and said like yeah this this game is a piece of shit, could you make an official sequel? So basically he came up with the entire premise for Metal Gear Two while on the train home. That's cool, right? Oh, for fuck's sake, why'd you bring the guards back? Yeah. Ah, punch him out, punch him out. Also for the box art for this game, for some reason, uh, basically, they, 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 it, I guess it was because it was, you know, Konami in the 80s, so they're always just stealing artwork. So, it's, Oh, this was a door. Yeah, cheers, game. I got ammo. But yeah, the uh, the original yeah the artwork for it is uh, just based on uh, a publicity photo of Kyle Reese from the Terminator. Who is this guy? I'm saved. Oh, it's just a hostage. I'm not sure that's supposed to be a kid because apparently Big Boss kidnaps children. Oh f no! No! Snake. Snake! Bastards. 
well bent now. That's, that's completely unfair. You can't expect me to to be able to predict there's going to be a room filled with gas. And you know, at least in the, in the in uh, the solid titles, when you have gas, I oh, fuck it. At least in the solid titles, when you when you have a ga a gas, that the, the room itself is a, a different hue because of the gas. Fucking hell, so it's twice. I've wanted CQC. Ammo. Okay. So I, I don't think this is supposed to be a kid, because Big Boss apparently does kidnap children to be used as child soldiers. Now I'm ready to go in with. No, this is the, this is the annoying thing. We have to switch to the, to a card key. You know, to go in. They, then, and I think when you get to the end, you have to switch to a card key again, and lose some health because of the gas mask. I think I don't think it was until like Metal Gear Solid Two where they finally made it that you that you that you just have in the card will do it. Oh fucking hell! I just took him out. Yeah, the, the actual combat is kind of a complete joke. Let's... Oh. Let's see what this guy... Oh. Thanks for saving me. The Foxhound member that infiltrated the base a few days ago is unharmed. That's Grey Fox. Because he's part of Foxhound. Foxhound, yeah. They captured him. Oh, shit. Ah. And I don't have access to that area. So let's go further down and see what we can find over here. Oh, yeah. Damn, what is that thing over there? Whatever it is, obviously, uh, it's trying to... I don't know if I can even get to it. Oh, wait, I can get to it in time because it don't go the whole length of the room, does it? That's the trick. I see what you're doing there, Koji. Plastic explosive. Great. <laughs> Let's blow shit up. Uh, yeah, mate. Oh, shit. I dodge you. Yes. You give me a chance to go through. I don't think you can crouch. Oh, shit. He wants to get me. I'm not sure how I'm meant to get past these guys without either of them seeing me. Oh, I see. I wait, I wait for that moment, then run down here into the middle. I see what I'm supposed to do. Oh, shit. Haha. -ha. You cannot find me while I'm here. <laughs> or you can just stay there for most of it. It's amazing this, this whole step, this whole the way the way that the enemy's line of sight works. It's a literal line. <laughs> what do you, is that electrified floor? Got I forgot to tell you how to turn off the juice. The the the, the juice. Big Boss is in his, like, 50s or 60s and using the term juice for electricity. <laughs> oh, fuck my life.